In 2022, Apple responded to the commercial spyware targeting their phones. In their announcement, they directly pointed to commercial spyware developers and nation-state operators. This is our analysis and interpretation. A lockdown mode option will be released starting with iOS 16, iPadOS 16, and macOS Ventura. It hardens device security by limiting certain functionalities to reduce the attack surface that has and could be again exploited by spyware operators. Apple has announced five initial lockdown protections but left the door open to add more later. It is important to realize that these security protections are a trade-off the functionality, ease of use, and speed of the phone. Seemingly in response to the zero-click exploits developed by Pegasus spyware creator NSO Group, lockdown mode will block message attachment types other than images. For example, compressed PDF masquerading as GIFs were used to exploit integer overflow vulnerabilities. Also, some features like link previews will be disabled. The automatic link previews were likely used by zero-click exploits to exploit buffer and integer overflow vulnerabilities without user interaction. Apparently, also in response to zero-click exploits, incoming invitations and service requests, including FaceTime calls, are blocked if the user has not previously called the caller or sent a request. We had seen zero-click exploits inject malicious code into memory by sending malicious packets, like real-time transport control protocol packets that exploited VoIP stack vulnerabilities in call initiation, such as packets that would dictate quality of service. Another interesting protection is that wired connections with a computer or accessory will be blocked when the iPhone is locked. This appears to be in response to companies like Celebrite and the China-based Hisine Technologies that produce technologies that can crack and pull data from locked smartphones that they have physical access to. Also, certain complex web technologies like just-in-time JavaScript compilation will be disabled unless the user excludes a trusted site from lockdown mode. This appears to be in response to more conventional tactics that involve sending malicious links. This does leave the phone and user vulnerable to watering hole attacks where the attacker can target and compromise a trusted site. Lastly, while the phone is in lockdown mode, configuration profiles cannot be installed and the device cannot enroll into mobile device management. This appears to be in response to the MDM functionality that the various spyers exploit. Some of the spyers may be masquerading as an MDM, which could give them substantial privileges on the device. Apple announced a security bounty program that will reward researchers who find lockdown mode bypasses. The bounties are doubled for qualified findings in lockdown mode with a maximum reward of $2 million, the self-proclaimed highest maximum bounty payout in the industry. Apple also announced a $10 million grant to the Dignity and Justice Fund that is established and advised by the Ford Foundation. The grant is intended to support organizations who investigate, expose, and prevent highly targeted cyber attacks like the state-sponsored spyware attacks.